Hello everyone, my name is Gosia Makinan and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Uh, today pro project is a watercolor and I would like to share how I made the beautiful card. Uh, it's very easy and quick, so let's get started. There is my uh, lovely card with the butterflies, as you can see. I don't have inside anything, but that will always look. So what we need to make the card to make the card, I um, used the uh, bold butterfly frame list and I'm gonna use the little one to that maybe out now. And also I'm gonna use the uh, watercolor wings and I'm gonna use the full butterfly, just one. I have a month already on my uh, blog C. And also I'm gonna use the little, little uh, butterfly body and also the, I think it's called antenna. And I use that one, you are so kind, but now I'm gonna use just for you. Okay, so there is my card base. It's a basic black. I need to fold and half and score in half. No, first score and fold, but I'm going to just fold because I didn't have it. Um, I didn't score that before. So there is a half of A4 uh, card. Uh, to look for the all sizes and dimension, please go to the video description. Just uh, and, uh, click the uh, blog post uh, link and they will take you straight away to my blog. So um, we need also a piece of... Um, watercolor paper which as pack you can buy is this watercolor paper and is pack of five and they measure six inches by nine inches also we need some vellum and the vellum it's 20 sheets and that is a four size okay and uh, Stamping pad, Daffit of the Light, Pumpkin Pie, and Melon Mango, and basic I have I, I carve I have <laughs> sorry Ar archival 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 I think <laughs> basic black and we gonna be use the watercolor pencils and the watercolor brush. So we start from um the watercolor paper. Um, what we need, we needed the watercolor pencils, and as the same as the ink, I used the yellow, which is David of the Light, pumpkin pie, and melon mambo. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna take uh, the pencils and just mark, I think it's a called mark, like that, just where we want to put the butterflies, and I think that is enough, and the orange, oops, which is new pumpkin pie, just there, you can just a little bit overlap, and the last one is melon mango. That is all. Now we need to take the brush and it's wet so what I do just uh, make a wet and just go from the top to the bottom. No bother about to clean the brush like so. That is all done. Now you can cl clean the brush just if you squeeze a little bit and that is clean okay we're gonna put that on the side to dry and because we're gonna use the uh, heat tool to dry that and also for the embossing as you can see on my card there is embossing white embossing so we'll take a piece of paper which I had a uh, there 
I need embossing body just to keep the static from and I need my white uh, embossing powder I need a scrap of paper like so and Versamark which is blue and my sentiment and I'm gonna stamp I'm sorry my head I just need to put my head on so I need to see if I am on the paper okay and now I take my white embossing powder and that's lovely and now I'm gonna use my heat tool I'm gonna switch off my heat tool now and before the heat tool get very hot I'm gonna dry the paper, the watercolor paper. That's done. Okay, let me put that away. And before I'm gonna start die cutting uh, the butterflies, I'm gonna put my uh, watercolor paper uh, into my base. And I'm gonna use Tombow as usual. Okay. Upside down. <laughs> okay. Just a stick like so. And I'm gonna put it away. I'm gonna put my notepad on the top so uh, make it heavy. Uh, so uh, the next step what we're gonna do we need to uh, cut uh, three butterflies from the uh, vellum so I'm gonna take a big shot and what I have here I have my big shot platform I have my tin die adapter and I have my precision base plate and I'm gonna put now a uh, the butterfly and the vellum. The vellum first and the butterfly. And just cut it three times. So we have a ones. And I'm gonna take my dye brush. Like so. And so that is three my butterflies done. Like you can see, we're gonna give them a little bit dimension. Just put the wings up. Okay. And now we're gonna take the card base and we're gonna stamp the uh, three butterflies. 
well, the David of the Lights, um, pumpkin pie and melon mango. So David of the Light. Pumpkin pie. And melon number. That look great. And we're going now to uh, put the butterflies. What I found, if you put, um, of course I'm going to use a multi-purpose um, liquid glue. If you put um, glue just on the teal and the head, like you can see there, I put here on a little bit so you can see the shadow, but I put this here on the head and on the teal and you cannot see anything. So, put a little bit on the head and the teal, all three butterflies. Now, I'm going to take the basic black and stamp the butterfly body and the antenna. So, hmm, do you know what? I think maybe I'm not going to stamp in the basic black like there, but I'm going to maybe just use the same color, so yellow, um, David of the Lights or um, Pumpkin Pie and uh, Melon Mambo. Maybe because it's I don't know. Maybe they're gonna look better. We'll see. Let's try. And the last thing, I'm gonna put my uh, sentiment here. So I'm going to use my snips. I'm going to cut a little bit from that side and I'm going to cut a little bit here to make a banner. And like that. And I'm going to take my stamping dimensionals. Just going to take a couple. And, oops, put into my card. And that card will be ready. Maybe a little bit more down. Like so. Okay, that's ready. I don't know which I like better. Hmm. Let me please know which you like better, that one or that one, the, with the black uh, butterfly body or with the colorful. Um. So uh, thank you very, very much for watching me. I hope you like that. If you need uh, to order, please go to my blog on www.gosiamakinon.blogspot.com and thanks for joining me and have a great time. Bye!